Hello everybody, it's Trisha from Hunter Habits and it's a beautiful day. I know some people are getting snow up north, but here in Texas it is gorgeous. Okay, today we're going to make some embossing buddies. Just because I don't want, I've got everything I need here at the house and I don't want to go out and spend six to ten dollars on one. And I don't feel like waiting two days to get one on Amazon. So, let's get started. You're going to need some type of yarn. I'm using crochet, uh, yarn or thread. Some scissors, needles. You can use baby powder or cornstarch. We're going to be doing both today. Uh, you can use a pair of knee highs. Just the cheapest pair you can find or one maybe that you have in your drawer that you've never used. Uh, I'm using a funnel, but you can always make one with some paper just by rolling it. A pair of socks. You just need one of them. So, you know, that lost pair of socks that yeah. still looks good. Oh, Penny's calling me. And then I found some material in my stash. Uh, this was material that I, my grandbaby, when she just started eating out of her high chair we wanted to put a cushion in it and so i made her a roughly cushion uh it was adorable anyway i now know why though after doing a little bit of pre-stitching for us why i don't do it anymore with the arthritis in my hand and between my eyes uh and the stitching i wish i had kept my sewing machine out for another couple of more days so, you hear the howling? That's my penny. She is probably wanting a T-R-E-A-T. -E I can't say it too loud because Coda's in here. Okay, and it helps to have either a glass or a mug. Just so you have, you're going to use it kind of as your third hand. Okay, let's get started. What I did first was cut just about a three and a half inch uh, three inches would do. It just really depends on how big you want your buddy, embossing buddy. And then three inches by maybe six inches. And then fold it in half and stitch along two sides with your outer, uh, under material on the outside. Once you've stitched, turn this on the outside with the good material to the outside and then we're going to fill it with a knee high full of either baby powder or cornstarch probably baby powder okay let's do it first Okay, see where I've got this opening now? I can put my little knee high in there and then stitch it up across the top. And I've still got the thread attached from where I use the embroidery thread to do it. Now you could make, see if you've got friends that craft too, do this together. That way when you open that pack of knee highs, if you did have to go buy some, some people may be saying, what's a knee high? Is that a sock? Well, you could use a sock, but this is a little bit more flexible, a little bit thinner. You're only going to need one, so a friend could use the other. I'm going to set my needles aside, too, and my yarn, just so I can have a little bit more working space here. Okay, stretch your knee high. You want it to go around your cup. To where you've got enough fill space down in the toe. Stick your funnel in there or your rolled paper. Now, I'm not going to take the top off of my baby powder. I'm just squeezing it down in there and you can see probably the cloud of dust coming out. We may need a pokey tool 
to get it to all go down there. And I chose my largest funnel for this so that I wouldn't have much of this problem. But we're going to use the pokey tool. You know, a lot of us probably have baby powder around the house that we're not using on our babies due to the warnings that they tell us about talcum powder now. I actually used to use baby powder in my shoes. You know, it absorbs moisture. And that's basically all you're doing when you use either baby powder or, tor or talc. Uh, cornstarch, any of those, you're absorbing. Okay, let's see how much we've got. I don't think it's probably enough, but you never know. Okay, for this size that I'm making here, I probably need some more. But that would be enough if you made a smaller pouch. Now, if you're not wanting to breathe this in, you might want to wear a mask or make sure that you have a fan nearby that's blowing it in a direction away from you, which is what I'm doing. You may hear that roar in the back. Okay, we're going to do just a little bit more. That way I think it, for sure it will fill the pouch that I have. And like I said, you can make a smaller one. If you're not sure what an embossing buddy does or is used or how it's used, just watch some of my videos coming up. I love to emboss, whether it be by pressing the paper or by embossing by hand where you do your own designs, or if you're just adding an embossing powder to heat up to make a raised image. We're going to be using some of Feather Bear. Let me make sure I get this right. Feather Bear Bling Glitter. It's a very popular glitter among those that do tumblers with epoxy. And I have bought some of her glitter because it's gorgeous. Let me show you a couple of packs real quick. Aren't these beautiful? This one's called Fantasia, and this one is Bridget. But they, she makes makes the mix for her glitters, and now distributes them. Okay, I think we have plenty in there. Now, you can tie it, or you can put a rubber band around it. Oh, one thing I did want to do is double this, because if I don't. Let's see. And then too much powder may come out on my paper. Okay, pull that tight. Then we're going to pull it around. Like this. Now you could use it directly like this. See, you don't barely see. If you hadn't have doubled it, though, if we hadn't have doubled it, too much would have been coming out. Now, you can snip this off once you've tied it. 
and you could actually sew or tie this in and make another one so you're not wasting if you do things like that but I'm just going to cut mine off flatten it out a little bit put it down into my turned material and then I will stitch it shake it around a little bit and then I'm going to hand stitch it right across here and I will be done. I will have my first buddy right there. Okay, now let's do the cornstarch. Same idea, just a different type of drying powder. I don't even know if I've opened this cornstarch since I since I bought it. Nope, sure hadn't. It's been around in the cabinet for a few months. I just knew we needed some. Okay. Now, again, see the powder blowing? You want to make sure that, that you don't inhale that. Okay, that's going to be more than enough right there. If you're wanting a measurement, that's probably one-third of a cup. Get that lid back on there. This tool that I'm using, this is a pokey tool, but I use it in sculpture. I use a cork from a wine bottle to uh, cover the pointed end. So when I go to reach for it in my tools, I don't get stuck. Little tips like this is something I learned during teaching. When you go to reach in your drawer to get something sharp out and it pokes you in the hand. Okay, I can see now that I've got quite a bit, so what I'm going to do is fold this sock up around that tube you got to hold it good and then again start getting the cornstarch down in here and we're going to do the same thing we did with the hose and tie it if I ever get it down in there you know this is really a little bit finer than the baking powder how much do I have If I had used a roll of paper, this would probably be in there already. Because I could make up that hole expand when necessary. We've got quite a bit in there. You'd think it just would drop down in there, but it doesn't. It's definitely not clogged. I'm watching the flow of it now and it's literally having to be pressed down through there it's 
So if you use cornstarch, I recommend not using a silicone funnel. Use your paper. Okay. And because this is a cooking powder, I'm not going to put this into back into the container. I'm going to go ahead and toss the rest of this. Or actually, I could make another one. Let's see. I may do that. I hate to waste things. Okay. Oh, it almost fell. Okay, yeah, that's plenty, guys. Okay, so what we want to do is, again, stretch out our sock. And put it through. You want to tighten it good. And there is another embossing buddy. I hope you learned something today. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and share. All your crafting buddies need to know how to make their own. Uh, either when they lose theirs or they uh, don't have time to go buy another one. So, enjoy the day. And you've got two ways to make buddies. <laughs>